Oh, it's a huge honour to be the first NRC winners. Um, you know, first ones to put our name on the trophy. We're ecstatic. It's just the culmination of um, you know 12 weeks of really hard work, and uh, we managed to uh, build a great team culture in a short period of time. And I think that was the difference in the end. Yeah, the scrum and the mall and all the set piece um, really laid the platform tonight. It was a lot of hard work, but we enjoyed it, and uh, it was critical to the result. But uh, full credit to the blokes out wide as well. They tackled hard for us all night and uh, ran hard, and we managed to just, you know, hang in there with the result. Yeah, I think uh, there's a number of guys that have stuck their hands up for higher honours. So I hope to see them, you know, excel in the future, hopefully in a red jersey. But uh, tonight's just about Brisbane City and about the team where, you know, we love playing together and we love the season and we're happy with the win. Ballymore was amazing tonight. We love playing here. Uh, there was a huge crowd. And, um, you know, they were probably the difference in the end. They got us over the line in those tough moments. Oh, mate, it's... It's, it's outstanding. Um, I think Dirl summed it up. I mean, not every day do you win a grand final, let alone with the same, same group of blokes. So this is the last time we'll celebrate together. And to go out in that cap's outstanding. I mean, an individual honour is an individual honour. But, I mean, our tight five stood up tonight, took ownership of the set piece, and the whole team responded. So it was an outstanding performance. Mate, I've loved it. It's a different style of football. It's a different group of blokes. You bring club players in. You bring the amateur style. And, I mean, it's been outstanding. The enjoyment factor has really, I think, made the, made the best rugby players out of everyone in this team. And if you look behind me, you can see exactly that. Oh, mate, just very, very humbled and very proud of the boys that, uh, that we're about to celebrate with. Oh, like, it's a pretty good feeling. Like, to show you the moment with the boys, it's like probably the best feeling out. Uh, but like, it's not really all, like it wasn't really all me. Like, if it wasn't for the boys, I wouldn't have done that. So like, yeah, cheers to the boys. Oh, I had I had all eyes on the, on the trial. Like I, I I wasn't looking anywhere else. All eyes was on the trial line. So basically everything was out. I was I just ran straight for the trial line. Oh, it was a great crowd. Like I cheers like cheers to everyone for coming to support the team. So thanks for that. Yeah, the first one I went over and I was just so excited. You know, I wanted to throw the ball, but someone's already ripped the ball out of my hand. So I was, man, it's feeling surreal to beat. You know, I guess a Western Force side uh, today with how many young blokes we you know. We all really dug in, and we know it's a really good effort. Yeah, mate. Like, um, you know, we've we've had a really big focus throughout a scrum. You know, we've got a fairly young scrum, but you know, a lot of a lot of talented guys who can scrum. And you know, up front, you know, with Seth and Reddy, and you, you got Big Dave Fayo, uh, you know, Murphy and Philly. You know, they've all experienced. We've all scrum against each other. You know, it just makes that extra, I guess, uh, competitiveness against each other. And when we go out on the field, you know. Competitiveness is already there, so all we have to do is just rip in. You know, there's a lot of world-class, uh, I guess, front rowers going around within the program here, and you know, just just to be side by side, by side with them and just learning off them. It's just only going to make me a better player, and you know, just just get me prepared for, I guess, Super Rugby next year and the following years to come. Oh, mate, absolutely stoked. The emotions, just I couldn't do justice with words. Uh, you know, uh, it sounds ironic, but we never spoke at all from day one about winning and losing. It was all about our attitude, about working hard, but more importantly, having fun and enjoying it. So, uh, you know, we had some ups and downs throughout the year, but uh, but we uh, we came through those and we grew, and that's uh, that, that's a sign of a good side to show some growth. Oh, and listen, look look at who they scrummage against. You know, Pet Cow, Pet Cow, who's just come back from Wallabies, and I coached for three years, so I know how good a footballer he is. Uh, the, the hooker and tight head proper, super rugby players as well. So, so for our young guys who are 20, 21 years of age to to scrum like that is just is just crucial for us going forward. And uh, and they're hungry, these blokes. So that's going to be good for Queensland Reds 2015. Yeah, quite, quite ironic that I, was, uh, I looked at the other day and and uh, first game here and I, I firmly believe that this group of guys really set the stand for this NRC in that first night. Uh, it was terrible conditions here at Ballymore and they played rugby and played attractive rugby and scored fantastic tries and that set the scene for the rest of the competition and, and now to come back here and you just saw what a fantastic spectacle it was and full credit to the QRU. They, they embraced this competition from day one. Uh, the marketing team, the senior management group and then the professional rugby department uh, got on board and what we saw was, was a fantastic time at Ballymore and for the, everyone, the 7,500 that rocked up tonight, they're going to have a great memory of this uh, that they'll have forever.